You're watching 10 Tampa Bay live from Clearwater for tonight's Community Connection and 10 Tampa Bay's Community Relations Director Catherine Birch joins me now with how a Pinellas County charity is helping kids with disabilities. Josh, you know, it really seems like a no brainer. Many disabled children simply need wheelchairs, but I found out that's a need that is not always easy for families to meet. And that's when the group Wheelchairs for Kids rolls into action. And with that, Sophia Widener and her plushies are on a roll. The 12 year old loves riding through her neighborhood on her therapy trike. Plush, and sometimes like, I go super fast. <laughs> Is it fun? Yeah. Along the way, she's always trying to spot some fluffy fur. Cats, specifically. <laughs> Why do you like cats? Because they're amazing and they're super cute. Sophia lives with a condition that causes tumors to grow along her nerves. Oh, she's been through chemotherapy three times. The trike gives Sophia a chance to get out and at the same time gives her muscles a workout. I like how it helps my legs. I mean, I'm, I'm so proud of her. She's willing to work uh, riding a bike every day. We've already seen an improvement in her walking. But all this pedal power wouldn't be possible without the group Wheelchairs for Kids. It's a tremendous help. Like, we couldn't afford one on our own. As you can see, they're all customized. They're all a little bit different. Madeline Robinson started Wheelchairs for Kids when she discovered that insurance and government programs will often only pay for a wheelchair every five years. You can see from this photo why that's just way too long for a growing child. And I kept seeing kids in, ch in chairs that were falling apart. Uh, they weren't appropriate for the child. They didn't fit them right. And uh, nobody was doing anything about it. Over the past 12 years, Wheelchairs for Kids has provided much needed mobility equipment to 1,500 families and helped them out in other ways too. The group makes modifications to vehicles and homes, little things like ramps that make a big difference. That's life changing. Um, you know, obviously for the child, but for the parents too. And then there's this. Throughout the year, the group holds what they call Wheelie Fun Days, activities where kids can get together. And they create friendships, um, learn social skills. And boy, do they have adventures. Take a look. From zip lining to water skiing, and even that other cold kind of skiing. It's all about improving quality of life and generating some smiles. Yes, a lot of the kids that we work with are isolated. It's, it's about seeing them blossom. And as for the Widener family, just like Sophia. I'm very thankful for the bike. They hope Wheelchairs for Kids keeps right on rolling. It's an amazing organization. Joining us now is Madeline Robinson, the founder of Wheelchairs for Kids. Madeline, amazing work you do, and we are so happy to help out tonight by presenting you with a $2,000 grant from 10 Tampa Bay and our parent company's foundation, the Tegna Foundation. Wow. wow, thank you so much. I cannot believe that you guys are doing this. You've been beside us the whole way since the beginning. As a matter of fact, Catherine, you did the first story ever on us. <laughs> so we appreciate you so much and everything you do for our community. Thank you both so much Thank for all you. of you. <laughs> you do wonderful work. We're just happy to help. 